Hi everyone, I am Abhilash. I am here to deal with the topic Introduction to Physiology. I am proud to be a living being. Hope you too, because living is not a simple thing. Okay, now we can see what is physiology. Simple life that can be controlled by complex system. Okay, what is complex system? Atom that makes molecules. Molecules that makes cell. Cell that makes tissue. Tissue. There are four kinds of tissue. One is epithelial, muscular, connective and nervous tissue. These four tissue makes an organ and that organ makes an organ system. Now we can move on to factors that maintain human physiology. Homeostasis, lifestyle and reproduction. What is homeostasis? Whatever the external temperature may be, but to maintain a constant internal temperature, that is homeostasis. These homeostasis can be maintain optimum level of body fluid, water and minerals in our body. If we maintain these three things in our body, we can be very healthy. Then lifestyle. Lifestyle, mainly these lifestyle varies from person to person, but it mainly depend upon physiological activities. Then reproduction. Reproduction means it is a biological process by which a human being produces new individual or offspring. We discussed factors that maintain human physiology. Now we discuss some examples which are used in our day to day life. Have you ever feel that during summer we feel sweat? It is one of the positive signs of our body to maintain a constant temperature. At the same time during cold we feel shiver. It is also one of the positive signs of our body to maintain a constant temperature. And what I am seeing around it is due to my visual perception. I am seeing. So everything around will be a physiology, physiology and physiology. As I told before that organ system, it is a group of anatomical structures that work together to perform a specific function. There are 11 main systems of organ system. Without these organ system, our body could not perform correctly. First is integumentary system. It consists of skin and their appendages. Their main function of integumentary system is to protect us from external damage and prevent from loss of water. Then muscular system. It consists of skeletal muscular system, smooth muscular system and cardiac muscular system. Their function is to for the movement of our body and making position of our body. Then skeletal system. It consists of bones, ligaments, cartilages which is which make essential for uh, essential function to make our body then nervous system it consists of nerve cells and fibers that can transmit nerve impulses by their chemical messengers to transmit the informations of our, our body it mainly consists of neurons and neuroglia then circulatory system circulatory system consists of blood blood vessels and heart the main role of circulatory system is to transport nutrients and supply oxygenated blood to our body which is very essential for our body cells everything need oxygen then respiratory system the anatomy of respiratory system it consists of nose pharynx larynx trachea bronchi and lungs the main role of respiratory system is which can take oxygen inside for our body functions and expel carbon dioxide out which can also excrete expel waste product from our body which is used for the cellular functions next endocrine system mainly endocrine system consists of glands and hormones this hormone is one of the chemical messenger which is secreted directly into our circulatory system from circulatory system it can transport to the specific organ for the specific function then excretory system mainly excretory system is responsible for elimination of metabolic waste in the form of urine and fecus excretory system kidney plays an important role because kidney can eliminate toxic material in our body in the form of urine reproductive system mainly reproductive system consists of male reproductive organ and female reproductive organ combined to give a birth to the new offspring it also consists of some hormones, fluids and prenomes. Then digestive system. Digestive system, main parts of digestive system is alimentary canal and it starts from accessory organs like mouth to anus. The responsibilities of digestive system is breakdown of food particle of larger food particle into smaller food particle for the easy digestion 
it helpful for the absorption of that food which is helpful for our body nutrition then lymphatic system in lymphatic system immune system plays an important role ha everyone knows that immune system can get rid of toxin in our body and also eliminate some unwanted substance from our body today we saw intro to physiology by abhilash in later videos we will be discussing about each system in detail for more information and for for more details we have just added a e version of book in the description below please do check and make it useful thank you friends for more videos subscribe to our channel